Hi, it's Mike McCluss and Cruiser. Got here in Motor McCluss scooter lift. Okay, very cool bit of kit. Made in Italy. Proper pump. This pump will actually do our big benches like that, but I've just converted them to uh, electric, which you could on this as well. But basically, we're going to pump this up. We're next going to demonstrate a scissor lift, okay? A normal lift, you need three foot in front for the bloody thing to allow you to, um, you know, to go up. This will vertically go up and down like the big lifts, like this, which is another motor of a plus awesome lift. Okay, so we're fully up at this. Now we've got a stop here we can put in. All right, this is a stop. So to release it, you're going to do this. Sorry, you're going to do this. Okay. Now, as you can see, the height is pretty cool. Three foot and 90 centimeters. Okay, a lot of scoop, a lot of lifts are nothing like that height. And you can see the quality of this thing. It runs on, on ball bearings on the floor. This is your release, as I say. Now, not quite worked out what these are. You can put a metal plate on here by the looks of it, or you can drain the oil here or here, or have two plates. But uh, wheel clamp obviously needed. But uh, if you're doing the old scooters, this is like for your Vespers and stuff from the 60s and 70s. I believe that's what uh, what it's for. It's got an awesome 300 kg ram, which if you know the Italians and the Germans, that will actually do a lot more. They test it normally to two or three times what they say. Whereas the Chinese lifts, you'd be lucky if it does what it says. I've got an LML star on mine. <clears throat> yeah. Nick's got an LML star, whatever that is on his. On mine. Yeah. And if you want to check the dims on this thing, we are looking at... Just over five four. 61 inch, which is 155 mil in new money. And the width of it... Centimeters, is it? Sorry, <laughs> yeah. So that's how much I know about metric. And this is what? Is that a fifty centimeters? Fifty centimeters, half a meter wide, and a half inches. Ninety half inches. Okay. Now you can see the build quality on this. Proper bearings, really well made. It's got these two cutouts, which I imagine for draining oil or taking the wheel out on an old scooter. Because it'd be a ten-inch wheel, you'd be able to drop the wheel out and dump the oil here, or possibly the front wheel just sits in there and you dump it there, but. Not honestly sure we're going to find out from the people we bought them off. You're looking at 15 and a half inch or 40 centimeter hole there. And we have got a 30 centimeter one foot hole there. Now, when this lift goes down, which we shall demonstrate, the pump is awesome. These, these are really old lifts, but the fill quality is not like your Chinese rubbish. You can see this thing's now going down, the, the catch is off. Excuse the music. <laughs> now, whether or not these things are for your tyres, we're not too sure. But it looks like when you roll the bike on there, your wheel will go on here, and then perhaps your rear wheel's over here. We're not sure. But the uh, easiest way is if you wanted to, you could just put a large sheet of ply or, you know, obviously a proper bit of metal on there or two bits of metal would allow you to access both holes. And if you had one with four little things on here, it would actually stay in place. And obviously you could put a wheel clamp on the front like we have on this, we've got a big wheel clamp on this one. It's an awesome bit of kit, not made in the Far East. These are genuine Italian scooter lifts by Motor McClus from Italy. Still going, they made this big lift here. See the size of this thing, this will do Harley Davidson anything. So if you're interested, give us a call, 01773835666, customcruisers.com, or the new site, customcruisers.eu. Or call me, 01773835666, or sales at customcruisers.com if you want to email me. Thank you.